What's up guys, so I'm gonna show you guys how to take all that yellow stuff and junk off your headlights today. The uh, polishing pad, uh, preferably with the drill, it will make things so much faster and so much easier for you. Um, I went ahead and bought the, let's see, the Meguiar's. And I also, this is also a Meguiar's piece right here. Um, what it does, it rotates um, a certain way. So you're able to get a great polish out of all your things. So as you can see, it rotates like side to side. Um, the thing about these though, the side to side ones that rotate like this, um, you have to keep an eye on them because they do heat up faster, but they do have better results. So it has uh, some goods and, and cons about it. Um, you're also gonna need a bucket. You're gonna put water inside of it, fill it up with water. You're gonna need 1500 grit, 2000 grit, and a scuffer. Uh, just in case if you're not able to get out those harsh um, yellow lights out of uh, and the yellowness out of the light um, just, You're gonna use a scuffer and then you're gonna go up to 1500 and then you're gonna go um, up to 2000 and then finally polish and then you're gonna be polishing with this It's gonna be the Meguiar's Plastic X um, You could do this alone if your lights are only a little bit like hazy and stuff like that um, with the terry cloth and this alone and they'll, they'll be just fine um, or you could do the the drill and just this alone if it's a little bit but let me show you guys these headlights so these headlights haven't been done in a while as you can tell so it has a really thick uh, thickness of, um, of yellowish um, stuff here and um, so what you're gonna do also another thing that you need is masking tape um, and that's gonna be everything guys so you're gonna need masking tape polishing the pad, drill, um, 1500, 2000, and a scuffer and a bucket for water. And you, what you're gonna do is uh, you're gonna keep this um, um, 1500 um, constantly wet. It has to be wet at all times. Um, so but the first thing let's do is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, what's it called? Uh, mask this off, and then I'll be back with you guys. Masking off uh, one headlight, which it took me like about seriously like two minutes. Um, one of the tips I have for you guys is to go ahead and uh, sneak in the tape in the bottom. Just go ahead and slide it in and then you'll be able to get that nice tape finish. So it should look something like that, well at least for this car. Um, you don't got to worry too much about here because there's not too much work to be done over here plus you can't reach it as well. So we're just going to focus mainly on this area right here and the rest of the headlight. Um, let me go ahead and uh, show you guys an example of what I mean. Uh, sneaking inside the the tape. Alright, so this is what I mean by sneaking the tape in. Let me go ahead and uh, make this long real quick, one second. Alright guys, so what I mean by um, sinking the tape in is that basically you're gonna go ahead and uh, let me show you from far away. Basically, you get this tape, the masking tape, and sneak it inside the crack. I mean, but you're gonna do the, the tape, you're gonna flip it, flip it upside down so the sticky side is facing you. Um, so it should be something like this. So the sticky side is up, guys, and just sneak it in. And then you're gonna fold it over if that makes any sense to you guys so let me go ahead and keep sneaking it in and these cracks right here it's a, it's a lot easier with uh, two hands um, it just looks difficult for me because I'm, I'm holding the camera so basically guys you guys get the gist of it um, sneak it in backwards and then fold it over and that way you get a nice clean tape and you're covering the paint but you're not covering the headlight all right, let me go ahead and finish this one off. You guys have some water and you guys have your um, your pads inside and also your um, scuffing pad inside. Um, everything has to be wet. Um, this is a four, 400, um, let me take this out. It was just near the pile, sorry about that guys. Um, anyways, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be a, uh, the 1500 and the 2000. So I'll start off with the 1500. Um, I don't see anything on the headlight right now that I need to use a scuffing pad for. Everything looks normal to me. Um, everything that I could do by 1500 and then 2000 and then polish. 
So let me go ahead and start this whole process. Basically guys, what you guys want to do is keep everything wet. So let me, put, let me wet the whole headlight. The headlight, go ahead and wet it. And then start off with the 1500. And basically guys, what you're gonna do, you're gonna do circles. Just keep doing circles. You don't wanna do straight lines. It's harder to take out um, straight lines. You're gonna see a bunch of um, like powderish, um, like let's say uh, powderish water coming out. But that's just uh, small particles of the plastic. So just keep doing circles. Um, every little corner. And you're gonna do this for like about, I wanna say do each headlight with every, um, all, every single pad. Um, for about a good eight minutes and just try try to stay away from the paint guys as much as you can even though the masking tape is protecting it we don't want to create any accidents that we're gonna have to fix later so we'll just keep doing circles and really get into those uh, corners the this headlight right here has some corners right here on the side you want to get into those corners because it will show later guys if you guys don't do it right um, once you get down to the whole pol polishing process it will show it's gonna look ugly um just do it right the first time so you don't have to go back and just keep remember to keep wetting the, the pad itself so just gonna keep doing circles i'm gonna get these circles all the way inside i'm gonna get everywhere nice and wet if you have to you can switch sides Basically what you're doing guys, you're taking that old layer of oxidized plastic that has been beaten by the sun and all the road rash and all the stuff on the road and all the all the rainy days and all the dirt that has gotten stuck on top of there. The main factor that oxidized stuff guys is the sun and dirt combined together. So let's say you have a really dirty car and you leave it on the sun baking you're actually damaging a lot of a lot of your paint a lot of your plastics a lot of your trims just by leaving that dirt on there especially if it's um dirt grime it has a lot of oils a lot of chemicals from the roads from other vehicles so you want to go ahead and uh, definitely never leave your car dirty for too long So you just want to keep doing that guys i'm gonna go ahead and uh keep doing this for as you guys can see already like it's already clearing up which, and we're not even we're not even done yet it's already clearing up you can kind of see the headlight a little bit better it's only about what three minutes into it this one's still all foggy that's the original one and this is just barely the first step we're barely getting into it guys um so just keep repeating um the 1500 um keep wetting it and um keep doing circles all throughout the headlight and then um once you see like um let's say like a nice clear white then that's when you move on to the 2000 and then you finally uh you're gonna finally end it with the with the polishing all right so i'm gonna get into it guys and uh i'll update you guys when i'm done the 2000 grit so it took me about a little longer with this headlight um, about I give it about a good eight minutes on 1500 and then about six minutes on 2000 so you're gonna go ahead and dry it guys this is one of the important steps is you're gonna let it dry um, and then basically what you're gonna look for is patches white patches that you could barely see through if it's kind of like a clear foggy kind of thing that's okay because the polisher is going to take that out um, but some stuff that you guys got to be aware about like on these headlights there is damage inside that was um, that was done by um, you know oxidation itself so let me go to show you like this area right here there's damage inside and you can't do anything about that guys 
everything that you could do is only basically on the exterior and that's about it as you guys can see it's already drying up it's turning like a nice clear fog that's what you guys want but if you guys get something dark like this patch right here we're going to point it out like this one second um see where my camera's facing right here let me see if it can focus like this area you guys see that little cloud right there that's from the inside there's nothing you can do about that so no matter how much you stand from the outside you're not going to be able to do anything about that but if you see some on the exterior guys then go ahead and uh keep keep sending it down and then uh until it goes away until it turns something like this that's what you guys want right there you guys want this kind of foggy kind of headlight look um that's that's what you're gonna be able to polish out all this stuff it's gonna go away but that little cloud right there that is not gonna go away that is something from the inside so i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the other headlight while i let this one dry up and i'll be back with you guys i'm back so um once you rub in the material i put like about six dots across um go ahead and rub it in with your polisher um, reason you guys don't want to just throw material on top of your your pad is because it's going to throw it all over the place you want to actually rub it in like this of course i would be doing it with two hands but i'm holding the camera so yeah um i was going to start that one but I, the reason i didn't because i want to do a before and after picture so let me go ahead and finish this one up and show you guys the end result if the things don't come out right i'm going to go ahead and restart all over and probably go down to 1000 grit and then move up from 1500 and then 2000 all over again let it dry and then repolish sometimes you have to do this guys sometimes you don't so hopefully we luck out on the first time okay so i'm pretty much all done and uh, this is you're gonna be your finished product right here it's gonna be a nice clear finish if you guys have to you guys could go down on um on sandpaper but what i mean by that you guys could go lower um grade so you guys can go down to all the way 800. I suggest 800 because if you go anywhere lower, it's gonna be way harder to get out the scratches and uh, you're not gonna get this nice polished shine. Um, this is uh, two polishes in. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more polish and then uh, I'll call it uh, a day on this one. I decided to jump on this one because um, it was much easier. Um, this one has um, had a little bit more work to be done so I'm not quite finished with this one. Um, so this is basically what you guys wanted to to get to um, before you guys actually um, start um, doing uh, let's say about 2000 grit so as you guys could tell it's still a little foggy but the whole headlight guys don't worry about it. it's gonna turn white if it turns really really white that means you went down um, you went down all the way to the bottom and you guys have to come up from there as in grit wise for sandpaper you guys have to go step it up um, but it's fine you guys will it's repairable it's not nothing to worry about whatever you started at go higher and higher and higher until it's uh it turns basically starts getting clear by the time you guys start hitting um i want to say 1500 to 2000 grit it should start becoming clearer like you should start be able to see inside the headlight um when you're lower on um on sandpaper it's gonna it's gonna look more foggy or more white because the scratches are deeper and you're able to expose more of the white out of the headlight out of the plastic um so right now i gotta give this another go and then go ahead and uh finish up like that but this one still needs one more polish guys i still see a little bit more scratches in there um but it's way better than before guys i'm gonna uh, show you guys uh basically that's before um I want to say before 2000 grit and then um, after 2000 grit and polish so that's your guys' end results um, let's see uh, pretty much I'm gonna leave it there guys Alright guys, that's going to be it for today. Um, if you guys have any questions on this process or if you guys want me to do it another uh, another video, uh, do it yourself. Um, just let me in the comments below. Um, go ahead and share this video, like and subscribe guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one.